Welcome back to Math 103. This is video number 14 on fair distribution. Let's place the markers. Ed thinks that all the items are worth 12 Ed points total, so 12 divided by 4 equals 3, and after every 3 Ed points, Ed will put a marker. Faith values the whole array at 8 points, so she puts a marker every 2 points, and notice that here she's going to put a marker as soon as her second minimum fair share is constituted. She'll continue from there until she sees a total of two points accumulated, and right away she'll put a marker, and that gives her her four minimum fair shares. Greg values the full array at 16 points, so every four Greg points he puts a marker. Finally, Hannah values the full array at 10 Hannah points. So every two and a half Hannah points, she puts a marker. So as soon as she reaches two and a half right here, she puts a marker. She keeps scanning forward. Worthless, worthless, worthless. Aha! Two and a half points worth of Hannah points, then she uh, puts a marker. Another two and a half points, she puts a marker. There is actually a four way tie for who's number three marker appears before anyone else's. That's okay. By the time we even get there, two players will already have been given shares. So this will end up really being only a two-way tie. Before you continue, I recommend pausing the video here and seeing if you can figure out an allocation of the shares to the players. Now we find an allocation of the shares. As we've seen in the previous example, there might be more than one way to do this. We scan from left to right until somebody's number one marker appears before any other player's number one marker. Hannah has the honor of being the player whose number one marker appears first. So Hannah will get her first fair share, and that's this pear and apple. And we can record that here. She will get a pear and an apple, and that is her first fair share. We continue scanning from where Hannah's share leaves off. We continue scanning left to right until someone's number two marker shows up and that is a tie between Greg and Faith. We're going to ignore the number one markers. We're looking for whose number two marker appears first. So it could be either one of these. Just for the heck of it, let's say Faith. All right, and so we're going to give Faith her second fair share. We'll flip a coin, let's say Faith wins it. So Faith will receive her second fair share consisting of these two oranges. That gets recorded down here, and this is her second fair share. We continue scanning left to right from where Faith's share leaves off. We're looking for whose number three share appears before anyone else's. Again, we have a tie. Remember that Hannah and Faith are already taken care of. This tie is really just between Greg and Ed. So let's flip a coin and suppose that Greg wins the coin flip. Right, so Greg will get his third fair share, everything between G2 and G3 namely apple, pear, apple, pear. We record that here and note that it is a third fair share. And finally, Ed is therefore left with his fourth fair share, everything from E3 until the end of the row. So apple, orange, pear, we record that here and note that it's his fourth fair share. Finally, we take note of what items are left over. There turns out just to be one leftover item, just this one orange. That piece of information should be recorded, and that completes our solution of this distribution problem.